In this video, we're gonna keep plugging along on my bathroom remodel, and we're gonna do it right now. So here's the plan. I reached out to you guys. I asked for your opinion on this door, if I should keep it the same. And for the most part, it was split between keep it where it is, move it over, and then a lot of people suggested a pocket door. So, though I think a pocket door would be kind of cool, I just have never really liked pocket doors. That's just my opinion on it, especially not for a bathroom. Um, so, I've decided that I am going to move this over. I'm going to change the swing to swing this way, and I'm going to take that box and put it on the other side. So, when you open the door, you'll be able to turn the light switch on over here. So, I'm going to use this stud here. I don't really have to change much framing. Um, I'm just going to put another stud here. This is going to be my king stud and this will be my jack stud that goes up to here and that's going to be the start of the rough opening for the door and then I'm just going to put two studs in here for the other side and then I'm going to bump out this wall to make it a two by four wall afterwards. So that's the big plan for this video. And before I rip this door out, I'm going to do some things to prepare to make it easier uh, to bump this wall out. Um, like if I bump this out an inch to make this a 2x4 wall, I don't want it to sit on the flooring because eventually that flooring is going to be ripped up. So I'm going to cut this flooring just here to um, make it so I don't have to deal with that when the time comes. Same with the paneling. I'll either take all this paneling off or at least to here. So when I put my uh, piece of wood right here to bump this out, it doesn't stop me from tearing this paneling out and make it harder afterwards. Same thing on this side. So I'll do that and then I'll take the door out and frame it. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to carefully take out this door trim so I can reuse it. I'm not going to, I'm just going to put it in temporarily afterwards. Uh, I'm just going to make sure the rough opening is good for a new door because I am going to get a new door, but I'm not going to get one right now because I want to do the flooring and have it sit on top of the flooring and I need the sheetrock here in order to put the trim on. So I'm just going to put this one back in temporarily. 
So I'm gonna very carefully cut around and try and sneak a sawzall blade in here to cut the nails and take that out and then reframe this and reinstall it. somebody borrow my framing gun so I guess I'm screwing this together which isn't a terrible thing Generally, the sizes of doors, if you have a 30 inch door, you want to make your framing about two inches bigger. So that'll be the rough opening, 32 inches for a 30 inch door. And that's what I have here. And it goes the same for the height. If the height is a 78 inch door, you go 80 inches. That's what works out for me anyways, from the finished floor. So, this. And I'll cut my piece for here. Please don't split.
I can put my door frame back in. swung before um, even though it's temporary I want to put the hinges on this side so I can know what it feels like what it's gonna feel like to open up and make sure it's good before we go closing this wall up I think that is way better. That's gonna swing like this. And obviously this is temporary. I'll put my new box right here so you can turn the fan on as soon as you come in. And I still have enough room back here to put something like this white cabinet. Back here, I think that's way better. You remember what it was like before swinging into the toilet now when you walk in you can just open right up to the bathroom nice okay i'm happy with that sweet so that's where we're going to stop this episode i am happy with that i think that worked out really well leave me a comment down below and let me know your thoughts if you want to see more on this bathroom remodel, you can click the video here or here and go check that out. And if you're just finding my channel from this video, go ahead and subscribe if you like this content. Plenty more to come. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode.